This is a neelum tree. It's our largest neelum tree. Neelum's a, a small tree cultivar. It, as you can tell, has a lot of fruit. And as you might suspect from the position of this particular branch is the branch broke. It has a 90% split on it. And so this whole, whole uh, section of the tree is now on the ground. So remember if you have a neelum or any other fruit tree that has got a huge crop on it, try and thin the fruit. And that's easy. It's, you know, if you just take a panel full of fruit, which, let's see if we can untangle this one. But when this fruit was younger, all we would have need, need to have done is just cut this panicle right about here and leaving a few fruit to develop and at least half of the fruit just discard. Uh, it would have been a much better outcome for the tree. In 1978, Frank Smathers Jr. brought Neelam to Florida from India. Not only is Neelam the mother of Malika, but it's also a very good mango in its own right. In fact, in 2014, it was named one of the Curator's Choice Mangoes at Fairchild Tropical Gardens. Neelam is a moderately vigorous tree with a dwarf growth habit. In Florida, it's reliable and productive. Our largest tree sets so much fruit that many of the fruit are very small, and sometimes a branch breaks. Neelum is susceptible to anthracnose. The fruit from one of our trees often has superficial black marks. Our trees often have two crops per year, and the second crop can be ready to pick as late as September or early October. Okay, we're going to pick some with the pole. We'll pick some with the pole picker. Just going for some yellowing. These are basically ones that fell into the basket when I sort of shook the cluster. They all are starting to turn yellow. And they're all pretty plump. So, when you're dealing with the small neelums, that's what they look like when they're ready to pick. Large ones would be bigger. Here's a this is a fairly big fruit, but it's not ready to pick yet. It's, it still looks very young and narrow. And uh, so actually we're going to pick some of these uh, shorter, plumper ones. So that one looks like it's very plump. This one is starting to change color a little bit. And that one will leave on. This one has a nice brown stem and a set bead. And the uh, same thing for this. Ooh, guess I'm at my capacity there. So um, now these other ones we'll leave on. This particular fruit that we started with here, um, that one is going to be a later season one. I, guessing it will be at least a month away, uh, possibly longer. So this is a um, situation where we had a, at least two crops on this one tree. The fruit typically weigh up to nine ounces. This tasty little mango has no fiber and is extremely sweet and aromatic. 
Also, ripe Neelum fruit is slow to develop off flavors, so it can be enjoyed over a longer period of time than most mangoes. Ripe Neelum are especially appreciated by our customers from India and various Caribbean islands. Green Neelum fruit are often used for pickles by some of our Indian customers. Tasting evaluations rate Neelum as good to excellent.